Yo, what's up, fourth graders? Today we're talking about adding and subtracting fractions with whole numbers. All right, let's get started. Here's our first problem. We have two plus two thirds. Now let's show this visually just to show how simple these types of problems are. First, we got two holes. So we're gonna make two holes with our visual model. And then we have plus two thirds. So we need to make a model split into thirds and two of them shaded. So visually we see that we have two holes and two thirds. So our answer is pretty simple. It's a mixed number, two and two thirds. So you can see that when we're adding a whole number of a fraction, we're just putting them together as our answer. All right, let's look at some sub subtraction examples. Here we have three minus three fourths. First, we'll represent the three holes now we see that we don't have any force that we can take away. We're gonna have to take one of our holes and turn it into four fourths, which is equivalent to a hole. So now we can rewrite this as two holes and four fourths. And remember four fourths is equivalent to a hole. So this is still equal to three. We're just rewriting it to show the four fourths. Now we can take away three fourths, which leaves us with two holes and one fourth. So our answer is two and one fourth. All right, let's look at one more example. Here we have five minus two six. So we'll start by represent our five holes. And again, since our denominator is six, we're gonna turn one of our holes into six six so that we have some to take away from. So now we have four and six six. Now we can take away two six, which leaves us with four and four six. So to sum it up, when subtracting a fraction from a whole number, you take one of your whole numbers and turn it into the equivalent whole fraction using the denominator. Then you can subtract your numerators. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace. Created using Powtoon.